What's up everybody, welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. We're gonna have another one of these people are gonna get pissed off videos. I know they are, right? We had the video about um, the love yourself bullshit that's going on in social media. And tonight we're gonna have a video about the fucking eating disorders, okay? And this, again, it's, it sounds so sexist, but it's true, right? It takes place 99% of times in women. It's not happening with the guys. We see bodybuilders, physique competitors, fuck, you know, Men have been competing in bodybuilding since, let's see, 1965 was the first Mr. Olympia. So we'll go with that, Larry Scott. Men have been competing in bodybuilding since then, and you never hear, now whether it's social media or then, about fucking eating disorders. Why? Because it's not a fucking eating disorder. I am seen all over the place. It has become an absolute fucking trend and a fad for women to have eating disorders. It's like, could you fucking be more sheep in any fucking possible way? It's like, it's an excuse. So what happens is, Women get involved in the fitness industry. They want to do bikini shows. They want to do figure. And usually, it's usually bikini for some reason. I don't know why the fuck this is. But across the board, I'm seeing this just the way it is. They start bikini, right? And they do a show and they're fucking, maybe they get into it for a little bit and they're living the lifestyle and whatever the fucking case may be. And then all of a sudden, like lately, right? In the last like two months, I'm seeing all these posts about how they have to stop competing because they've developed an eating disorder, right? And I'm sitting there going, what the fuck? Like, all these girls, I'd eat, and they're like, well, I didn't have any eating disorder before I started competing. And now, all of a sudden, I have this eating disorder, and I want to come out and be clean about it and be transparent. It's like, well, first of all, you didn't come out until the other girl came out. And then the other girl, so, like, one girl started it all who was kind of like a bigger name. And next thing you know, it trickles down to the fucking ranks because here's the deal. You're too fucking lazy to keep dieting year-round. You don't actually love the fitness industry. You don't actually love competing. You don't actually even love dieting and fucking being healthy. What you love is the attention you get on fucking Instagram. And what happens is when you can't keep up the fucking diet and the training because it's too goddamn hard, you gotta find a way out. All of a sudden you have a fucking eating disorder. I have an eating disorder. Listen, getting ready for a show, okay, which you have a specific date that you picked out, okay? You picked the fucking date, you have that date coming up and you're working extremely hard and you're doing everything you can to get there, right? And what happens is, technically your body goes into a caloric deficit, right? You know, I, I don't hate talking about calories, but this is just the best way to explain it. You go into a caloric deficit and you now get a signal to your brain that it's hungry. It's very hungry, right? So now what happens is, you know, you might be able to maintain it until the show and you do the show, maybe you even reverse diet the right way. You know, maybe you don't, maybe you blow up. But the bottom line is, you're causing a signal to your brain purposely. You are doing it on purpose to try to get to that show. And that signal to your brain telling you to eat gets fucking stronger and stronger the longer that you diet. So if you're really fucking restricting calories and pushing yourself, that fucking signal to your brain is basically telling your brain, your brain we're going to die. It doesn't know what the fuck you're doing. It has no idea that you're competing. It thinks you're out in the fucking wild like a caveman walking around with no food and you're dying. So it sends the signal. It keeps sending the signal. The signal gets harder and harder and harder to fucking fight off. And next thing you know, you break down and you need a bag of fucking cookies. Oh my God, you ate a fucking bag of cookies. Holy fuck, you lose your goddamn mind. The next day you're up doing fucking tons of cardio to try to compensate for it. You're fucking restricting your calories even lower than they were before. And what happens? Your brain got all that sugar and it tells it, oh fuck, I gotta feel good. And all of a sudden you restrict your calories even more and do more cardio. The deficit gets cut even more, so you're in more of a deficit. The brain goes, fuck, we're starving again, but this time it's worse. Sends another signal to your fucking brain. That signal goes there and goes, we need to fucking stop this right now. What happens is you can't fight the urge. You have a lapse of impulse control. That's what happens. You have a lack of impulse control for a minute that makes you eat some fucking Oreos. That's what happens. But then what happens is you fucking start to be like, oh my God, I fucking eat Oreos. Well, for the rest of the day, I'm just gonna fucking eat. And you blow it off for the rest of the day and you eat whatever because you're like, well, I already fucked up, so I'm gonna eat like that. That's not a fucking eating disorder. That's not even disordered eating. What that is is you not being tough enough and having enough fucking willpower and impulse control to stick to what the fuck you're doing. That's what that is. It's not a fucking eating disorder. How do you know, Jerry? I've never had an eating disorder. However, I have dated women with these eating disorders. I've seen what it is. I've seen what it's about. I've actually gone to counseling with them about things. I understand eating disorders a lot more than you think, and that is a control issue, okay? What you're feeling when you're getting ready for a show with that signal to your brain is a physical, you're, it's a physical thing. It's not a mental thing, right? Even though it's going to your brain, it's causing a physical reaction because your brain thinks it's starving. It's a physical reaction to something happening physically to it, right? An eating disorder, an actual eating disorder where an anorexic would starve themselves, physically there's nothing going on. However, mentally they need control over something in their life. So what they do is they control what they put in their body, right? It's 100% mental. It has nothing to do with physical. 
right? And now they're controlling. They're controlling when you binge and purge. You control, control by eating whatever the fuck you want, telling people I don't fucking care, telling yourself I don't care. You're controlling, I'm gonna do what I wanna do. It's all mental. It's all a mental thing. And then you're like, what did I do to myself? I have to get this out. Uh, and then you purge, right? A mental thing. That is an eating disorder. It is not a lack of impulse because you're fucking dieting. Like I don't, it, the, the, the problem is, if this was actually truly an eating disorder and it would trigger eating disorders in people, it would be triggering eating disorders in all these fucking people as well as the guys and everybody, but it's not. It's specific certain women who can't fucking handle what is going on. Now, far be it for me to be like, you know, you're not tough enough to handle it. Maybe you're not. Maybe the hunger is too much, but I myself have been there to where, you know, plain and simple, I thought I was going to fucking die a couple times, right? But I didn't die, right? So therefore, I know well, fuck, I don't need to eat that meal because I get the show coming up and I didn't fucking die. I'm okay, right? Like you can fucking talk to yourself and be like, I'm okay. Then when I'm done with the show, reverse diet, right? You reverse diet because you're fucking mentally strong enough to reverse diet. Where's the fucking eating disorder? How come some people can do that and some people lose their fucking mind and eat Oreos? Because they're too weak. They're not strong enough to stay on the shit. They get to the fucking show and they lose their fucking minds and go nuts afterwards and then what happens is they fucking flip-flop back and forth. That, again, is mentally weak. It's not, has nothing to do with control. It doesn't matter. You, like, you're not trying to control things in your life. What you're trying to do is fucking literally make your body change by choosing to make it change and then formulating a plan. Like, people with eating disorders, when they binge and purge, it's not a plan. They just fucking all of a sudden, like, fuck that. They're in a bad mood. They fucking eat like crazy, and then they purge, Right? Or they have so much shit going on around their life, they're being fucking beaten by their parents or abused or whatever the case may be. And the only thing they control is the food that they put in their mouth, right? Also, another type of eating disorder is the people you see in my 600-pound life. They cannot control it. They absolutely cannot control it. They keep eating until they're 700 pounds. Like, that's not what's going on in this fucking fitness industry. That's not what's going on at all. What happens is people are getting fucking neck deep in shit that they don't understand. They're not fucking built for and they're not tough enough for. Plain and simple. And the only thing is... 99% of the time, they're all doing this for Instagram, for Insta fame, for Facebook. They're doing it because they want to feel better about themselves. That's the true problem, right? So they're using the fitness industry and the competing and the fucking pictures and the articles and all the shit that they're doing and the supplements. They're doing that for attention. So it's not truly what they, they don't love the fitness industry. They don't love dieting. They don't love competing. They love the attention they get. Now, your brain is not fucking strong enough to overcome the fucking things that you want for that attention. So what happens is you give in. Now you look for the way out. You say, well, fuck, this girl has an eating disorder. So I must have an eating disorder too. Oh my God, we all have fucking eating disorders. So basically if I come out and say I have an eating disorder, I'm like, I'm brave. I'm like courageous. Girls are going to come around me like, I love you. You're so smart. You're so brave for coming out. And I can't believe that. Like I have one too. And you're like, fucking now you're making yourself more popular, right? But what if, what if you didn't stop? What if you kept dieting? What if you stuck to it? What if you actually stuck to a healthy lifestyle? Year round, it didn't fucking starve yourself and binge because you fucking, you have lack of impulse control. You can't not eat fucking Oreos or a burger. What if you did that? Well, people may not look at that as more, you know, look at that as a brighter light. As somebody coming out and saying that I have this problem, I need help, blah, blah. The thing about it nowadays is when people come out and say they need help because they have this problem, a lot of people understand that and they respect that. But it opened up a floodgates for all these fucking ring ding wing nut knuckleheads to come out and basically abuse a real eating disorder. You're abusing, like to me, it's disrespectful to people with real eating disorders because you're like, well, I did a show and I couldn't control myself. I need a bag of Oreos. I have an eating disorder. It's like, no, you don't. Like you just can't stop yourself from eating because you're fucking not tough enough. Like you don't have it in your fucking head or you're just too big of a pussy to stop yourself from fucking binging like that. Why? Because I mean, usually it's someone else tells them it's okay. Like, oh my God, like I had such a binge last week. I've watched these fucking bikini competitors. There was one group of bikini competitors where every Thursday night together, they would get together and binge. They'd have a party about it. They'd fucking binge their faces off for the entire night. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, that's not an eating disorder. That's just being fucking stupid. That's acting like a bunch of idiots. It's like binge drinking, right? You pick one night a week and you go out and fucking do that. Doesn't mean necessarily you're a fucking alcoholic. It means you pick one night to fucking go out and act like an asshole, right? I mean, it just blows my fucking mind, guys. I get so sick of these fucking trends and people pick up on them right away like oh this is the new trend somebody's fucking saying this like metabolic damage when that came out and lane norton started talking about it and shit every woman in their fucking baby had a metabolic damage oh my god i have metabolic damage like bitch you didn't even diet for two weeks yet what do you mean you have eaten if you don't have metabolic damage oh my god my metabolism slowed down because i have metabolic damage like you've only been dieting for four weeks you're not even dieting that hard you're doing 10 minutes of cardio three times a week and you're eating 4,000 calories you don't have metabolic damage but it was like the trend I heard people saying they would pull out of shows because they would cheat on their diets, right? They would cheat and lie about it and say I had metabolic damage. That's what was really going on. 
So you see, people in Instagram and Facebook and the social media and even maybe YouTube, they'll use whatever they can to their advantage to get people to feel sorry for them, to get people to relate to them, to get people to follow them, to try to build their following because it makes them feel better about themselves to have more eyes on them, even if it's not true. And these people in their head may actually believe that they have an eating disorder because they don't even understand what a fucking eating disorder is. They just hear these other fucking ring ding bikini competitors talking about it and then it gets in their head. And then the next time they eat a fucking one Oreo, they're like, oh my God, I couldn't stop myself from eating. I have a fucking eating disorder. It's not even disordered eating. It's fucking literally a signal to your brain telling you to fucking eat. That is not a fucking eating disorder, okay? Like, it just blows my fucking mind. And it's fucking sickening. It's absolutely sad because these women doing this eating disorder thing, and these women doing these fucking self-love thing, you're going to be promoting this shit to younger girls who are looking up to you, okay? Younger girls that may never have these fucking problems, that all of a sudden are going to be looking for these problems in their daily life. They're going to be looking for, do I have an eating disorder? Do I, do I have a problem loving myself? They're going to be looking for this shit because they look up to you and they figure, well, I want to be like them. So if I want to be like them, I got to be, you know, I must, I must have the same things that they have. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Oh my God, I think I do. Like it's actually brainwashing individuals that are younger than you or that may be getting into this stuff that, you know, don't get me wrong. There are people out there that have fucked themselves up hormonally from fucking with their diets for a long period of time. You know, there, I know there are women that have dieted for like two years straight that have fucked up their hormones and fucked themselves up, but that's still not an eating disorder. It's a hormonal problem because you've been fucking your body up by not giving it what it needs just to be healthy. Again, still not an eating disorder. So be aware, guys. Next time you see one of these things of fucking eating disorders, like that doesn't mean that the person actually has an eating disorder. When you read the thing and read what they say, it's like all this pump and fluff and bullshit. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like... Had I, but I had, not, had I not gone through it with two ex-girlfriends, I wouldn't know exactly what it was. One was anorexic and one was bulimic. Or two were bulimic and one was anorexic. Yeah, two were bulimic and one was anorexic. And I wouldn't even know what the fuck is going on. If I hadn't talked to a fucking psychiatrist, psychologist about it, I wouldn't know what the fuck it was. I just happened to have some experience behind me and I'm like, this is fucking ridiculous. It, it just seems like trends. Like, oh, keto, keto's a trend, I have to do keto. Oh, no cardio. Yeah, I'm going to do the no cardio because that's what... They, oh, eating disorders. Oh, I love myself. I'm like, fuck. So basically what happens is all these fucking bikini competitors that come in here that want the attention, that are not doing well, that place really poorly in shows, not getting the attention on Instagram, they need a way out. So the way for them to quit is having an eating disorder. So they can literally say, I had to take care of myself. I needed to be healthy. And now people start going, oh, really? You, you had that? Oh my God, well, I might have that too. Let me, and boom, let me follow that person because I'm going to watch what she does because maybe it'll help me. Like, that's what the fuck is going on. I'm like, you've got to be fucking shitting me. I'm just sitting back on 27 years. 27 fucking years I've been doing this. 22 or 25, whatever, 25 years I think I was competing. Never once, never once heard of a fucking male bodybuilder having fucking issues with loving themselves. Now, they're, of course, they're never happy with their physiques because they want to do better at the next show and improve, but not about loving themselves, not about fucking eating disorders, not about any of this fucking happy or shit. But sure enough, bikini gets in there and fucking all of a sudden the fucking world starts coming down. But it wasn't even bikini, it's bikini on social media. Social media comes along, next thing you know, you have to sensationalize everything to be fucking cool, you know, and next thing you know, you're like, well, if I don't have an eating disorder, a drug problem, molested as a kid, I'm not fucking cool. Like, I got to find something fucking that makes me fucked up because if everything's just perfect with me, nobody fucking, nobody cares. So they purposely seek out these things to look fucked up like they're battling. They're battling so hard. They're fighting so hard to get better. Oh, it's such a fucking fight every day with my eating disorder. It's like, no. If you ever saw somebody with an eating disorder, you'd know what a fucking fight is. Like literally there's days and days and days where they fucking battle back and forth and they can't even, they're almost crippled by it. That's an eating disorder. You eating fucking Oreos at work and then being, feeling guilty about it because you don't want to be fucking fat is not an eating disorder. Bios your training at gmail.com. Leave comments down below, but don't fight. www.biostring.com is a blog. It's a not eating disorder bicep and we are out.